This is Caden Live, free video editing software available for Linux. I believe there's also a Mac OS and a, a Windows version available. It's running here on my Linux Mint system. We're going to go through the steps of installing it. Once it's installed, it'll look quite bright like this. I'll show you how to get the breeze dark theme so that it looks more like this. And then we'll go through the steps of importing a video such as I've got over here. And then we'll drag the video down to the timeline, such as I've got. And then we'll do some cutting and splicing, some basic video editing, just enough to get you up and running. And hopefully demystify video editing software, which is quite complex and uh, very daunting the first time you start it. We'll begin by installing Caden Live. And we'll just use the software manager. Sometimes it comes up in the editor's picks here. I'd probably select that if if you get it, but it hasn't this time, so we'll go we'll type Caden Live. The bottom one is 900 megabytes. It's a flat pack. I'm going to choose the top one, which is only 75 megabytes. And we'll choose the additional software as well. Just for the record, we're on Linux Mint 19.2. Tina, and this is the Matei desktop. Caden Live's now installed. We'll hit the back arrow. We'll type Breeze, and we're going to choose this one here that says Breeze. I've tried a couple of the others and had problems, so we're going to take this one, and we're going to install it and continue. Breeze is now installed. We can close the software manager. Go to the menu, sound and video, there's Caden Live. We'll get a little error message or notification turn up here saying that there's missing plugins. Uh, it doesn't give us a choice to install them or anything. So we just hit OK and Caden Live starts. And it's already got the breeze pack up and running. So we go to settings, theme. And you can see it's already on Breeze Dark. If you run Caden Live before you install Breeze, it'll look quite white. And you'll probably look in the menu and not see the Breeze Dark option. And I recommend do not hit this one here, BB10 Dark, whatever it is. I hit it before and the whole thing uh, couldn't read any of the menus. It yeah, really made a mess of things. This may look different depending on the size of your monitor. You can see we've got all this wasted space at the bottom. If we bring our mouse up into here, you can see the shape changes. So we can drag that down, hold the left button of the mouse down, and just drag that down. Now we've got a little bit bigger preview window. We've still got all our editing tracks down the bottom. And we've just got more room all around. I'll just point out here, this is your cutting tool. And your selection tool, the version of this software that I'll be demonstrating this on is an earlier version and mine are down, down the bottom here. Uh, but I'll point that out again when we get there. We're now back on my main computer. Uh, so this is a slightly different version of Caden Live. For example, these couple of items in, down on the very bottom here is the selection tool and the razor tool. Uh, you'll probably be using them quite a bit. The, on the other version we installed previously, they were over here. So some of the stuff might be in slightly different positions, but the functionality will be effectively about the same. And once again, we can run the mouse into here and we can drag, drag all this down a little bit so we've got a, a little bit bigger preview window. And our tracks, there's no uh, wasted space under them. Although for the demonstration, I'm going to make the tracks a little bit larger uh, so that you can see on the video a little bit better. And to do that, there's a couple of buttons here. You'll see that one says smaller tracks and bigger tracks. So we'll hit bigger tracks and then they're quite a bit thicker. The other audio ones almost off, is a little bit off the bottom of the screen there, but that doesn't matter. The next thing we want to do is actually bring some video in to work with. There are a couple of ways to do this. One is to hit this button near the top left hand corner and we can 
browse to our clips wherever they may be in this case I'm going to select this one called rain Hit OK now I've got my rain clip alternatively you can open a file browser such as I've got here and here's a video here A4DE I'm just going to drag that into the clip bin or the project bin and now there's my two two clips to work with there we'll drag the rain down to the timeline like so we'll butt it up to the left you could put it in any one of these but for this demonstration I'm just going to put it into video 3 uh, if we put it in the lower one we won't get a preview because these tracks are for audio only so all we'll get if, if we play that we'll just get the audio it's, um... like that and if I bring it back up to here we'll get the audio and the video let's suppose we don't want to see this part of the of that car in the, the clip so we can use this little scrolling the zoom level as it's called down the bottom here to zo zoom in and zoom out so if we go to about there so the video is about 10 seconds long and so that whole length represents 10 seconds uh, which is a bit hard to, to work with so if we change the zoom level like that now it's taking up virtually the whole screen that might be a little bit much that's not so bad it looks like I can work with that this white line is representing the portion of the video that's currently being played so if we click into the play uh, the preview box here like so I'll just turn the volume down a little bit more we can see it's about to end in about a second like that so if we click into the timeline with the mouse somewhere about here there's the car we can use the mouse wheel in this preview wheel uh, preview window and roll the mouse wheel backwards and forwards like that and we go back a little bit more there we go the last frame the cars out of the frame so I want to cut that there to do that I want the razor tool so I can select the razor tool with my mouse and see I've got a pair of scissors so let's cut there we just position the scissors on the line and cut you don't have to cut on the line you can cut anywhere you want uh, every time you click the mouse you're going to cut now so you want to be a little bit careful uh, I actually prefer to use the keyboard shortcuts rather than going down to hit these buttons all the time and the keyboard shortcut is X for the razor you can see I don't know if you can see it on the video or not but it says razor tool and then in, in brackets or parentheses it says X and this one here is S for the selection tool so we're currently on the selection tool we'll bring the playhead back to here and we'll just scroll forward there's the car coming into the shot we don't want the car and we keep going a little bit more you can go with the mouse wheel again up in the preview here we can roll the mouse wheel and effectively go one frame at a time like so and there we go the car's gone so we hit X on the keyboard and we cut again where the line is like that then we hit S to go back to the selection we select that portion by clicking on it with the mouse and we can right click and go delete selected item or you could just use the delete key on your keyboard and then we can just slide the two clips together and if we click back here you should see the car gone now okay, like so so that's your basic cutting and then cutting and shutting I suppose you could call that you cut cut a little bit out and slid it along I recommend saving constantly uh, I'll cancel that I've actually saved this previously I'm gonna go file save as I think I called it wet bike there it is wet bikes I'm going to save it and I'm just going to uh, do I want to replace it yes I'm just going to replace the previous file that's okay uh, that's pretty straightforward so let's drag this other clip down like so and now we're going to zoom zoom out because it's taking up too much of the area there 
So we can see the first clip was about, oh, it's probably only eight seconds or so now. Now this other one's a couple of minutes long. I don't want all that. I just want the first little bit. So we'll, we'll turn the volume down a little bit and we'll click the play button. I just want these motorbikes jumping through the puddle like so. And that's that's all we want. There's, oh, there is an, another bit here, but I don't want it. He doesn't jump the puddle, so we don't. We don't want that, so we'll just come back to where the the second bike jumps through the puddle, like so. And I'm just I'm using my mouse wheel on the preview here, and I'm rolling the mouse wheel backwards, and now I roll the mouse wheel forward. So we're sort of getting frame by frame, and I just want to see the the last bit of the splashing water hit the ground. So I just roll forward and uh, say about there somewhere it's a little bit difficult to cut exactly on the line so we we go back to our, our zoom level and we zoom we zoom it so we're getting more fine and grain you'll see the the play line here thickens up quite a bit as we zoom into the video more and more now we can hit x on the keyboard again and we can cut that like so and then we hit s to select and I don't want the rest of the video, so I'm just going to hit delete, like so. And we don't need to be that zoomed in, so you'll be doing quite a bit of changing from the, the razor to the selection tool and zooming in and zooming out, depending on the length of the video you're working with. So now we've got a nice little video here. We've got some rain, and we've got the bikes going through the puddle. But 14 seconds is a bit long, and I don't want, don't want this first bit, so I've decided I'm going to delete the first bit of the rain. I only want a few seconds of rain and then I want the motorbike straight after the rain so we can click up here and we can drag the playhead back that white line we can just drag that back with the mouse and we can hit play and there's our video playing you should see the bikes and there we go we're happy with that we like we like what we've got there now you hit the render button and we give it a name. I'll call it Wet Bikes, just for something to call it. And we'll go through all these settings somewhere else. But uh, at this stage, we're just going to hit Render to File, and it's only it was eight seconds long, so it'll only take about ten seconds to uh, to render. You can see it's rendering, and there's our video. We can close that and if I go to that location now I can uh, find that video there's our video wet bikes in this video we got Caden live installed we added the breeze dark theme to make it look the way that it looks we controlled the interface a little bit we added some clips and edited them and then rendered the file into something that was usable. I'll probably do a couple more videos with some slightly more, uh, I'd struggle to call it advanced, but with some more stuff that I know, I don't know very much, uh, but I'll probably do another couple of videos on it. And uh, I hope you got something out of this, and I'll catch you on the next one.